しずさんありがとうございましたお俺あなたに心配されないようなリーダーになりますあなたと冒険できたこと生涯の宝にしやすありがとうお,お姉ちゃんみたいって思ってました<笑><笑>はい。It was, it was sad, but like when she passed away at this episode, it made me happy because you know she reverted back into a, a little girl and you know she went to go hug her mother. And she was just like, Oh, Casa, Oh, Casa. And it just, you know, it really made me happy. But、um, the part that probably got me the most was when I'm skipping ahead, I'm going to go over the episode, but. Was when at the end, well, not, it's not the end, it's like in the middle of the episode when the three adventurers are leaving. I finally remember the names. You have Ellen, Gip, Jito, and Cable. When they're leaving, they ask Rimuru to turn into Shizu,、uh, Sh uh, Shizu's you know, human form so they can say goodbye and say thank you for helping them out. Because... Well, she, she helped him out a lot from the ants. But the one, the one that I think that got me the most was when was Ellen. Obviously, because you know, her part was the, most, was the most emotional. But she was like, you know, thank you. Just, you know, she, I thought of you as a big sister. And they all bowed and they left. And that, that scene right there almost got a tear out of me. And I don't mind. Uh, crying for certain shows. Like, it, and then, like, One Piece, One Piece got me,、uh, Assassination Classroom got me the very, very last、uh, episode when they finally, you know, X'd off their target and all that. And、uh, there's some other ones, but I can't think of them right now. But, you know, so going back to the beginning,、um, we learned,、uh, we, we pretty much learned Shizue's like, entire backstory. Um, you know, after she was summoned, the demon lord, his name, we find out his name, his name is Leon Cromwell. He's one of multiple, but he was one of the strongest. He makes her his closest aide because, you know, he puts one of the most powerful fire spirits known in, across、uh, real life and anime and video games, Ifrit and her. But something happens that makes him have to leave his,、uh, his castle, but he tells Shizue to stay as a. As a rear guard, a hero comes, the same one that、uh, sealed up Veldora. They fight, they become close. She gives Shizune that Shizue that mask, and it's supposed to help her、uh, suppress Ifrit's presence within her. But as time goes on, she, she, loses, she loses control because she's, she's getting older. She doesn't look it like Ifrit, while Ifrit is in, there, in her, ooh. While Afrid is dwelling inside of her, you know, she doesn't age. Well, 
I don't know how to put it. Like, like on the outside, like physically, like she doesn't look, you know, maybe like a day over like 2021. 20, but like in reality, she's still aging because she's still a normal human being and all that. And you know, in the her and the hero, uh, well, the hero leave up and leaves her one day. She decides she's gonna go traveling around. Shizue decides she's gonna go traveling around and slaying monsters and helping as many people as she can. She does this until she just can't anymore because she's getting old. And also, as she gets older, the the mass starts to work less, and it free is getting harder and harder to control. So that's why she's so and it, and this and this weighs on her heavy. Like she's so scared that she's gonna end up killing someone that she's close to, just like she did that girl. At uh, when, they, when we find out her backstory in the last episode, and you know, I think that had more to do with Cromwell than it had to do with it free. I think he was like, "You brought this piece of garbage in my house, flame flame her up, get him out of here, you know, get rid of the trash." But I mean, and once she once she's not once she decides she's not really able to just go out and hunt monsters anymore and all that and save people she decides to become a teacher she does state the land i can't remember it i'll put it up on the side somewhere but and also like she doesn't just teach like i i guess she taught like the kids from that world but she mostly taught ki children that were from other that were summoned from other worlds just like her and that's how she was able to get that reference that remember said about you know I'm not a bad slime because one of her kids had video games where he was from and he told her about that and she, you know she remembered it and she you know she thought it was funny you know that and I thought that was really cool and all that so you know as she's telling Rimuru all this you know and shouts out to the voice actor for this you know sh her speech is getting slower and sh lower and it's getting harder to hear because because now that Rimuru has absorbed Ifrit and taken it and taken him out of her body, her age is catching up with her. It doesn't say how old she is, but I'm assuming she's at least somewhere in her late late seventies and like or maybe mid eighties. Cause she's been around for fifty plus years. She was and it looked like she was somewhere at the age of like eight or something. And you no, know, and there's no telling how long. How long she's been going before Rimuru even, you know, showed up as a slime and all that. So I'm going with like 70s, you know, and she she's pretty much pouring out her heart. And, she, and her thing is she she wants to be remembered, you know, before she goes. But before she before she dies, she asks Rimuru to absorb her body, you know, pretty much to give her like a burial because she doesn't want to die in this world she says she's not I, she's like I dislike this world I don't I don't want to be absorbed by it I'd rather be absorbed by you and like that's when like the heartstrings for me kind of started like well actually no I take it back the heartstrings were tugging like the, the pretty much like the second episode like kicked off for like for me and it it, it was like I said it was sad it made it made me sad but like to, like the end like at the end of that little session I get you know I got my heart my heart won't I got a little happy but we'll talk about it so before before that like I said before she dies she tells remember I want you to absorb me and also she I don't think she expressly asked him but I think he just takes he takes it upon remember takes it upon himself to fulfill like one of her to feel, fulfill her final goal which was she wanted to find Cromwell and ask him like one are the people who are summoned here are they going to go back to their own world or are they going to die you know are they going to be stuck here and then also she wanted to ask him was there was there a purpose you know in my being here and all that and that that to me is like sad because i i get that sometimes like you know you question like why you know, why am i here why why am i doing the things that i'm doing and is it you know is it worth is it worth it is it pointless you know nobody wants to leave their this planet you know not not making their mark so so to speak you know whether it be in music anime video games politics or whatever you know you just you want to feel like you did something that was of some kind of importance 
but you know that's just me that's how I gotta say on that but you know and Remaru promises her like what he promises to absorb her and on top of that he promises on his name that he will find Cromwell and he will ask these questions for her and and this kind of and this I mean Shizu, Shizue was pretty much a plot device to to give Rimuru mo, like more motive like I mean so far his motive just been take care of the goblins and all that I mean he's kind of done that they're they're living they're, they're you know they're living their style of living is going up by the day so mission accomplished buddy <laughs> but I mean he is so you know this gives him and this is like I said plot device it's going to give him more motivation to see not to see the world but you know to to do that you know and we'll, we'll, and we'll get introduced to the rest of the characters from the intro later I'm, I won't, I'm not assuming I'm sure of because they're in the freaking intro but you know after Shizue tells him all this she you know her, she starts to get old and she and then great stage comes on and is like do you want to activate predator and he's he's like yeah so that activates and after he does that the three adventurers their names are Ellen the girl uh Jito and Cable they're all coming back to the tent you know to see Shizue cuz you know they don't they don't know what just happened we do you know they're like we're going to check on her then Rieger shows up and say oh I was about to here to give her a change of clothes and he walks in and they see well, and we all see Rimuru in his human form finally. And this part got me too. When they open the door and he turns around, he just has tears just streaming down his face. And that there were a few moments that almost made me cry. That one and this and and the moment that I'm I'm about to bring up that I skipped, which I'm I hate myself for, but when after he absorbs her, Shizue sees the girl, the, the girl that she befriended that that the Ifrit made her kill, and then she sees the hero. And then the, you know she runs them like she's like don't leave me again, and they disappear, but they point off into the distance. And then Shizue sees her mother, you know, sitting on the, I guess their porch or whatever. And she runs to her, and as she's running to her, she turns back into a little girl, and you know she's yelling. You know, you know how I think I think the Japanese word for mother is okasa. You know, okasan or something like that. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know she's running like okasa, okasa. And she's reverting back to little girl, and she jumps and she hugs her mother. That almost that almost made me cry because I was like that is, I'm like you know uh, part of, I don't know if it's like. That she really went back, or if it's just like her, her dream. Because I remember we said, you know, she'll dream happy dreams eternally. Now that I've absorbed her inside of me, so that almost got me. And you know, Rimuru tells Rigger and Ellen uh, all. She tells everyone that they came to the tent. She tell he tells them what happened and all that, and they get sad. And Rimuru looks at Ellen. He's like, you might think this was kind of selfish of me. And and Ellen's like, no. I mean, she get she understands. She's like, if that was her last wish, then you know, you need to fulfill it. But she was like, I just kind of wish I could have told her, you know, goodbye. And that hit me. Um, I've lost like a cousin and all that. We weren't that close, but you know, the, the night before, like the day before, you know he went um I had talked to him and, you know it was it was crazy to me so, but I can't imagine how that must feel for someone that you know that you considered close to you to go and you didn't get to say goodbye I can only imagine what that you know what that feels like and it it sucks. I know that much at least. It, it and that's putting it mildly, <laughs> very very mildly. So you know, just like a lot, like a lot of heartstrings were tugged in this episode for me. And you know, after all that, you know, she, yeah, Rumuru tells them she's like, well, you know. Shisue told me that she had a lot of fun with y'all when y'all were adventuring and that made them happy. 
And she said, even though, and, and she said, like, even though you y'all were danger prone, and then they started arguing. But that was, you know, that was like the pick me up moment of the episode. You know, it was like, yeah, you know, we get in, we get into a lot of antics and all that. But you know, at least we had her with us these last few times and all that, and they started remembering, and it was good. So they, you know, I don't fast forward like I guess like a few hours later or something. I don't really know. They're leave the they're le you know Ellen and them were leaving. But before they leave, they ask Rimuru to turn into his human form, you know, one more time before they leave. And he's like, okay, cool. And the reason they ask this is so they can say their goodbyes to Shizue. And that moment right there, that is the moment that really, really got me. Because that is probably something I would do. Because, you know, they all, he turns into his, the human form and they all bow and they're like, thank you. You know, pretty much thank, thank you for all that you did. Thank you for all that you did with us. You know, they prom they they promised we'll become better adventurers and all that. And Ellen's part got me the most because she runs up and she hugs Rimuru, and she's like, you know, thank you f for everything. I thought of you as a big sister. And you know, I'm the oldest of like five of you know of five children on my mother's side, and you know. I've always kind of wondered what, you know, what it was like to have, like, an older sibling. I'm the oldest, so, you know. But I never got that feeling of, like, to look up to, like, like a big brother or a big sister or something like that. So, you know, that got to me. Like, a lot of stuff got to me. It's weird. Not weird, but I think it's kind of weird just saying this on camera with y'all but you know I like to let I'll, I'm doing this I'm gonna let y'all y'all gonna learn some things about me you gonna learn some things about me for the for this YouTube things up I promise but that got me and then afterwards I mean the episode is you know it's cool well I mean it's not cool the episode's good like before after you know after they said their goodbyes and all that Rimuru says you know your gear looks kind of shabby which it does and he gets uh Kaijin and all them to make the new armor which looks nice and you know they're really appreciative you know and they tell him like they're like you know don't worry if you need something you can always call on us we will we'll we're going to say nothing but good things about you and the village and all that and he's like you know thank you i appreciate it and all that so you know they move on Rembrew takes the form and he gets he, you know he gets some clothes and all that and it looks like he's about to set out on you know fulfilling shizue's uh uh, final wishes and you know, the clothes he gets on I like them they look really good really good and you know, Ranga's obviously coming with them Ranga's Ranga's good boy good best dog of the year best dog of the year in anime this year if the only dog I don't know but you know after all that uh, we cut to a, a random boar monster in the desert he's about to die from starvation or thirst most likely both, but then this one guy in a, this one guy in a in a he he, remind, he looks like he's pretty much dressed up like a plague doctor except a nice fancy one except and also he's not in black he's in white and he tells him like yeah uh, I think his name is Gilmud yeah his name is Gilmud and you know and he tells the uh, the boar dude who's passed out on the ground now he's like you know. Think of me as your father. I'm gonna give you a name and some food. And the boy, and the dude's like, yeah, you, you know, sh I ain't gonna argue with you. Go ahead. And he, and he names him Geld. Yeah, he names the dude Geld, and he gives him some raw meat. And then he tells him, you're gonna become, uh, an orc disaster, because you're gonna take. He's gonna possess like the great forest, of Jura. We'll learn more about that. But I mean, other than that, that was this. Uh, that was this week's episode. So, I enjoyed it a lot, um, mainly mainly for the, the just the bit with Shizue and Rimuru, cause you know that, like I said, I'm I'm a sucker for that type of stuff. You know I love it to bits, especially when it's done well. Like I said, bittersweet, cause I wanted Rimuru to get his human form, and the way it happened it was sad. But at least Shizue is. You know, will it? I'm going to go on when she's back with her mother. If I'm wrong, um, 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. I was gonna say just let me have it, but I I want to be correct on it. But you know, that was this week's episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, let, tell me in the comments what was your favorite part or did you cry? Be honest. I mean, like I said, I almost cried like for real. Like I'm not not joking. Like I was I was at like going into class watching it almost about to cry and I'm like I got a test and I'm like I got like I got to focus on this this test but I want to finish this episode and all that but you know um do the stuff that I normally tell you to do like subscribe comment hit the bell uh icon to get notification when I drop my videos follow me on Instagram Twitter and Twitch and if you're wondering what this thing on my neck is it's the pokemon it's the pokeball that you get when you pre-order pokemon let's go Either Pikachu or Eevee. I got Eevee. Um, like I said, I wanted to stream, but my capture card <laughs> died on me at the worst part time. So I got to buy a new one. Hopefully, I'll have a new one before Super Smash Bros. comes up. But if I don't, I'll just give out my friend's code and, you know, we can have like a tournament or something. Actually, actually, you know, I'll set up another video. So, you know, do something I'm going to tell you to do. Like, subscribe, comment, but this is your boy, Fox.